everything this defense really accomplished over 15 practices? What kind of sum up the whole spring? Um, I think we've become more consistent as a defense. Um, I just love how how good we did versus the past this spring. I know as like for myself, I, I think I added that part in my game. I think I'm better in zone coverage, better in man's coverage. Still got some things to clear up in man coverage as seen today, but zone coverage and how we handle our issues and understanding issues and the particulars of our of our defense is what we accomplished this year. You know, we're just a smarter football team, a smarter defense, and that's going to pay its dividends in the this season. You're so used to playing with Denver for all those years. How, how do you feel like you've done chemistry-wise with Colin or whoever's been next? Um, it's all about trust, and um, I always trust Dedrick to to make the right calls, to bail me out if I didn't know some or. Just uh, and he always trusts me to um, bail him out and things like that. So it's just it's two linebackers, it's two quarterbacks, and you know, we have to set the defense. We have to set, um, call out issues and and maybe do some use some tools and things of that sort. But I I just think it's trust. So um, I have trust in Colin. He has trust in me, and um, we hang out outside the football. And I just think it's it's really it seems the same honestly. Uh, it's comfortable for him, so he's playing fast, and that's all. That's what you want in your inside linebacker: diagnose the play, and just um, and shoot through gaps, um, know your uh, issues and coverage and things of that sort. And that's what he's doing. So it's, it's real good to see. Hey, Noah, what's the what's the task for the I think since we understand our issues more and things like that, I think now is we have to play fast and we have to play consistently, consistently just like that every time we hit the, the field, you know. And um, we got to come on, on the field thinking that we want to be the best defense in the Big Ten. And um, that's where it's at now. We, we got so much better throughout the spring and we know we could be a great defense. Um, and now it's just every time we hit the field, it has to be like that. And when we come to that first game here, we have to show that. And that's, that's what's really um, the, um, the goal. Well, you're the leading tackler returning to the Big Ten next year. What do you need to prove yourself? Well, I have to prove to myself. Um, I have to make critical plays for my team. I have to make those plays that are going to win us big games and put us in Indianapolis in December. And that's that's what matters, and um, that's the play. That's the player I have. I have to be each every game, and that's the pressure I put on myself, and um, that's what counts. So, um, whatever number you have in mind, whatever accolade it may be, uh, that don't matter to me. I want to be in Indianapolis come December. I want to be competing for a Big Ten championship and a national championship. Who do you think the the you is at, at the secondary level? Who's the guy that's saying? I would say uh, I would say Decap. I think he understands me. Um, you know, when we recruited him, um, I was his host, and uh, we came in. Um, I chose him uh, because he has similar a uh, similar mindset to me. Um, he's been through the ups and downs, and he understands how to uh, fight adversity. So I trust him, and I feel like he has the fire. He plays with fire, um, and he don't he don't let mistakes make him. He just go out and ball, and that's that's a person who's just like me. I feel like. You've been here at Commander as a DC for more than a year now. What have you learned about him? I mean, how would you describe him? How have you seen him under him as long as you have? I think um, since coming in college, uh, uh, since high school, I never felt so comfortable with a defensive coordinator like I do, Coach Shenander. Um I know he has mad respect for me, and I just love playing for him. When I go on that field, I want to make him proud. And um, it just is, is a great feeling to have that kind of be comfortable with your defensive coordinator. Because a lot of times it's not like that, more of a business mindset. But I think we have that relationship. Are you guys motivated that there, there was so much talk about offense around here because Scott Frost and offensive guys, mm -hmm. that fuel you guys on your side a bit? Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's the Big Ten and then it's Nebraska. The defensive records we have here, 
uh, are like untouchable, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of great defenders that came through here. And when, you know, the, sh the light is off of the black shirts a little bit, you know, that makes you uh, kind of, you know, energized and ready to prove that, hey, this is a defensive program now. And uh, that's what we're trying to do come this uh, season. Oh, he he could throw linemen around like they're rag dolls. So that's what you need in, up front at that nose guard. I mean, I could, that's as simple as it get. He he has to be able to two gap, get off uh, the bump and uh, rub and stuff like that, and just make plays or just uh, devastate that that center so much that it makes it easy for me to make plays off of him.